Today I'm going to give a brief demo of Saga Connect, Saga's platform tailored for tutoring math. I'm going to begin the demo by logging in as a tutor. From here I can manage my students and my sessions. When I schedule a new session, it's easy to set the duration, add my students, and upload the curriculum. For today, I've scheduled a session to share, so let's jump in. As my students join this session, let me orient you to this shared workspace. On the left, I can access the curriculum that I uploaded. Now the platform has paginated it from here, and from here I can change the order, delete, or add new content. Today I'm joined by a few of my Saga colleagues who are getting to act as my students. Welcome Adam, Yasi, Tom, and Denise. Let's get started by getting to know the collaborative whiteboard. First, I'm gonna have my students try the rich text editor. You can see that they're already hopping in to answer my prompts. With this collaborative whiteboard, students can simultaneously work on the shared canvas. Next, in order to experience the drawing tool, I've asked them to draw something fun. In addition to freehand drawing, there's a line tool, which is terrific for creating number lines, coordinate planes, and also shapes. It looks like Adam is drawing a pretty cute red balloon. And I'm loving the little kitty cat that Denise is doing. Excellent, so good. Now let's move to exploring the math specific tools. An advantage of online instruction is the opportunity to use interactive models to explore concepts. If I select the icon of the pie, you can see that the students have access to fraction circles, fraction bars, and a bunch of probability models, dice, coins, and more models are coming soon. I can see that Adam added a coin to the canvas. Adam, why did you add a coin to model one half? Well, I figured when you're looking at a coin on a table, you're just seeing the top half of it. <laughs> I love that you were thinking out of the box. Fabulous. The expression editor makes it easy for students to write beautiful math. Students can use the numpad that appears when I select the f of x, or simply type directly from their keyboard. If, in addition from fractions to more advanced math like calculus, you can really see from these examples here that students can easily capture their thinking. Here's a fun problem on spotting patterns. And for this problem, I'm gonna use the tool at the top of the screen to duplicate it four times. I'm gonna ask that each of my students claim a problem and write their name on it. Using the timer, I'm gonna give them 30 seconds to work independently. This is an excellent way for students to think on their own before diving into whole group discussion. Now, once my students are done, I might want to zoom into one specific problem. To do that, I can use the magnifying glass in the toolbar. When I select the magnifying glass, notice that I get several options, including to lock the scholar's view. Now, when I zoom into a problem, the student's view is locked to my view. I like what Tom is doing, and so I'm gonna zoom in there Tom, can you share what you've noticed about this pattern? Yeah, I noticed that uh, for the Y values, as we go down, they get bigger by four each time. Awesome. Denise, did you notice anything else? Yes, I noticed that in the X column, everything is increasing by two. Wonderful. Yasi, what does this pattern make you think? Kind of makes me think of a line with positive slope like this. Excellent, well done. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to learn more about Saga Connect, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks.